Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Moomoo here. Well, as always, make sure to milk that like button and move on the subscribe. It's Moomoo. Moo. Hey, guys. If you want to be like me and you live in a different state or just can't catch reptiles and amphibians, there may be a link below to be able to buy some, or you can just leave a comment on this video, and I'll see your information. Now on with the video. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Moomoo here, back with another video. As always, make sure to milk that like button and move on the subscribe button. And always join that cowboy squad. Um... So today, I'm just talking about, so basically, my goal. So, you guys know how much I love reptiles and stuff, and I don't know if you guys know this, but I want to be a, rep a reptile breeder and or herpetologist. So, I just wanted to talk about, like, it's, it's nothing big, I just wanted to talk about um, how I need to achieve that goal, and that I need more subscribers and stuff. Um, so basically, I, I need all the support I can. I m want you guys to be able to tell, uh, tell you maybe some friends, family about my channel, maybe just say it's funny. <laughs> I mean, it's a, kind of a cringy channel, I understand that. Um, don't mind the pajamas. Um, and so basically, here's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to start a reptile breeding business as you guys know, and I kind of wanted to start now, and I need to raise money for it, it's because it's kind of an expensive business to be able to start, so I know what you guys are thinking, you guys could, you could just get a summer job, which it's not that easy, it's because mostly for people my age, you, summer jobs are going to pay just minimum wage, and I've done the math so far, and I could only make maybe a, well actually not even a few hundred, probably a little bit over a hundred dollars, a little bit over two hundred dollars. If and that's and, two, and a little bit over two hundred dollars is if I'm not making minimum wage and I'm making like thirteen dollars uh, an hour. So if I got a good, if I got a better job, I bet I could probably could. But honestly, I don't really see that happening. Um, so I just need all subscribers I can get and stuff and opinions. Um maybe ideas on how to start it uh, I don't know maybe even maybe even donations for all I can I mean I just need something to be able to start it up so basically what what I was thinking is I could either start it off slow or I can raise money and then when I'm older this is what I was thinking when I'm 20 years old I'll be able to have I'm oh, sorry it's raining out there a, a great amount of money to be able to start this so, I know this is a bit much, but what I was thinking is the price I kind of want is somewhere around $35,250 to be able to start this off. Because I'm probably going to need a building, and I'm, well, I could probably get a building after I make sales, but I'm probably going to need a building and stuff. And, um, I'm kind of already starting it now, because as you guys know from this, uh, intro. I know it's a cringy intro. I may do some work on it. I may add some more. Hey, what's going on, guys? <laughs> I don't know. Um, you guys can help me with the intro, too. Um, let's see. I lost track. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. So, that I'm going to be starting to sell my anoles and Cuban tree frogs, which I'm not... <laughs> don't worry. I'm still going to have them in the terrarium and stuff. I, I'm just saying, like, maybe I could catch you guys some, or maybe I could just breed them and already start practicing. But honestly, I need to start saving money. So what I was thinking is 70% of my funds, well, actually, 60% of my funds are going to go into savings. So 10% is going to actually go into savings for YouTube stuff, like maybe a better camera and stuff like that. The other 50% is going to go to the business and the savings for that and I'm actually gonna open up a bank account um, in Florida because that's actually what I need to because there's a website that um, it's called Shopify and they said that I well it looks like I can make my own website where I could sell things and I was thinking about selling uh, reptiles on there and you guys don't know this but it's called scale town I know maybe I could change the name I don't know I was I was thinking about scales too but I thought that 
it wouldn't be as original. And here, I'll tell you guys some of the reptiles uh, that I was thinking about selling. Um, you guys may not know a lot about this because as I know, and as you guys know, a lot of my subscribers are actually from school and stuff. Uh, I don't know how many really are just subscribers who came across me on the internet. Um, if you guys are one of those, just kind of just leave a comment saying you are. Oh, and I need the rack of views too. So guys, please start watching my videos. Yeah, I don't even care. Like, I wouldn't even care if you just played my video and didn't even watch it. I mean, I'd rather you guys watch it. It's because I'm trying to provide an entertainment here, but I just need the views. So here, I'll tell you some of the reptiles I was thinking. Um, originally, I was thinking of reptiles that were cheap. Which I, I, I'm now I'm thinking about it. It's not the best idea, but I'll tell you my my original plan was to buy something like corn snakes and leopard geckos. Which these are very pretty. Here, let me see if I can find a leopard gecko in this book while I talk. Um, the only problem with that is that there's not a lot of rare breeds and stuff to be able to get good genes, and people aren't necessarily always looking for these. That's weird. Um, usually they're looking for pythons and other col more colorful snakes. Well, here, here's a leopard gecko right here. Right there. But that's a banded leopard gecko. I mean, I might get a different kind, but I probably get a banded. It's actually, um, native to the United States, but it's way down in New, Mex New Mexico area. So I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but that's kind of one of the things I was thinking. And let me see if I can, well, I know there's a corn snake in here, but let me see if I can find it. So, yeah, the only problem with that is that you're not going to get enough, good enough breeds. And so I was thinking is maybe pythons, it's because there's a lot of different breeds. You can get a lot of rare breeds, um, the reptile shows. There's a, l a big variety of pythons that people love. And, you know, another problem with that is they're huge. If you guys look on the internet and look for any python, they get to, like, be sometimes even eight feet long. Um, so, yeah, that was my concern with that. So, I don't really know what I'm going to do. Here's a corn snake. Right there, that's a corn snake. And there's a lot of different varieties of colors. Um... So yeah, they're they're way too big, and that's a big problem. <laughs> no pun intended. Um, so I I honestly don't know what to do. I don't know what reptiles to start off with. So maybe if some YouTuber that's like started one of these businesses comes across it, um, I'd like them to tell me. I've watched a bunch of videos on it. I've done all my research. Um, well, not all of it, but I've done a lot. And here, let's see. Sorry, I lost track. Um, alright. So, basically with the... So, what I was thinking is maybe I was going to go to some reptile shows. And maybe buy some reptiles for the terrarium. And maybe I could start breeding them. And, yeah, that's, that's another problem. That's the problem, is I don't know what reptile to buy. So, I was thinking maybe skinks. Um, okay, well... The only thing with that is that some skinks get way too big for the terrarium, and if, well, they, I mean, I guess we could fit them in there, but we would probably have to take out some logs and maybe even the other reptiles and amphibians, and I wouldn't want to do that. So there are species of skinks that don't grow as large, but the only thing is, is not a lot of people want them. So then I maybe I was thinking. Uh, salamanders, which I could maybe. I have a uh, mud area in my tank. I don't think you guys see it. It's like a pot, and they could probably like burrow in there a little bit. But the only thing is, is they get again. Some of them get giant orbis, and those are usually the ones people want. And I don't really know. So maybe some species of gecko. I saw a YouTuber actually started off with that. 
I was thinking maybe the crest gecko is because I didn't know what species he bought. But I don't, I don't know much about the crest gecko. I might have to do more research on that. But I don't know. It's really anything I can find that's going to work. And then for snakes, it's kind of hard. It's because you can't house as many snakes together. And I probably, honestly, I'm going to start off with lizards or maybe turtles <laughs> for that matter. I mean, I cr probably couldn't do turtles because they're way too dirty. Here, I'll look at some turtle species as we talk. Um, so, yeah, and then another problem is food. So, I was thinking about the bearded dragon. It's because it, I noticed they're very popular. And even though that you can't get a lot of expensive breeds, they come super popular. And they eat, <laughs> I think, babies. I looked it up, it was like 30 to 50 crickets a day. And that's a big problem. It's because, unless you have a cricket farm, which even if you had a cricket farm, that's a problem. Um, it's going to cost a lot of money. So I don't, I don't know what to do about that. So why am I, I'm not even in the right area here. Where's the reptile area? I'm sorry. Um... That's mammals. Up oh, here, here's the turtles. And... So yeah, it's becoming a big problem. I don't know what reptile to start off with. So if you guys could help me, maybe. If you guys can do your own research, maybe text me your comments. Um, or heck, even buy your own lizards would actually help, which... It's actually fun housing your own lizards, even if it's like a smaller tank, which anoles don't need much. Um, well, and same for Cuban tree frogs. They actually stay mostly in a corner. But they're cool to feed and stuff. So, I'm, I'm probably going to advertise more of the fact to buy some. I don't, I don't really know at this point. Maybe, maybe, if you guys think any lizards are cool and stuff, I'll look at them. Or any snakes, for that matter. I'll look at them, and then maybe... I can put them in the description, start breeding them, and then people can actually buy them. So, I don't know. I don't know how to kick this off and stuff. So, that's basically my goal. So, if you guys can help me a lot by spreading the word and trying to get some more subscribers and likes and views for me, which views are mostly my problem. So, here, I'll tell you the requirements for that. So, you need to be able to have 100 subscribers. And... 40, yeah, 40,000 views a year, consistently, and that's a lot of views, I mean, subscribers, I could probably get pretty easy, it's because I could, well, heck, I could create bots if I wanted to, but views are the problems, it's because I need 40,000 views every year, and here, um, do I have a calculator, no, I don't, I forgot how many views it was, I think it was something like just a little bit over 100 views a day, I think it was. Yeah, I think it was a little bit over 100 views a day. So, on my videos, I'm going to need a ton of views. So, I don't even, sometimes, like, if they don't subscribe, try to get them interested in my channel, I guess. Um, I know I do a lot of boring stuff. Well, not, well sometimes boring and sometimes cringy and stuff. I... I Another thing is content ideas, because I don't know what to do a lot, and I don't know if you guys all like reptiles like me, I don't know if you guys all like to watch them, and so just tell me what do you think would be cool things for me to do, maybe even challenges, um, and I'll see if they're doable. So that's pretty much it for this video, um, <laughs> it's not really something you guys enjoy, but Please help me out here, like and subscribe, make sure to hit that cowbell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs> I did the wrong sign.